Hey everyone, CD Kid here. So let's watch Mark Sherman fail to use his own equipment, because this is the problem with Mark Sherman. He doesn't know what he's doing, and he's practicing on your radio, just like old Timmy Fail from Snake Oil Customs and his cohort up there in the Windy City. So let's look at Mark Sherman completely fail to identify intermodulation distortion. Well, let's take a look at this 955. Right. Yeah, you see the meter go woo woo woo, you know, all the woo 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 stuff. But it's a splatter box. It appears that someone just opened up the AMC on this radio. Well, I'd like to also point out that he has the oscilloscope misadjusted, so we can't actually see what the top of that waveform looks like anyway. But as you can see, all the distortion in it. It's a massive amount of distortion. That's funny. Because it doesn't look like way to me, at least now, when we can actually see what's on your scope. So, what? which one is it? To about this point, the radio is okay. And then after that point, not only is this the splatter, the intermodulation distortion. Let's see how much. Oh, yeah. Let's see how much intermodulation distortion there is there. Because my RF engineer tells me that you couldn't possibly have been measuring intermodulation distortion. So let's take a look and see what intermodulation distortion we see here. We actually have... It's not bad at one megahertz either way, let's see. Um, not bad at one megahertz? One megahertz, one megahertz what, one, what's one megahertz? One megahertz span? One megahertz is in the frequency? certainly must be in the span because we could see the peak of what should be your fundamental so um you have you've got my rf engineer fact checkers scratching their heads over here they're looking at this with me and they're scratching their heads dude i don't think you even know what you're doing because they certainly can't figure it out i don't see none on this one wait you just said you saw it and then it was, oh, it's not that bad at 1 megahertz, and now you don't see it. Wow, the story changes when you can't produce what you're looking for, doesn't it? So since you can't find this mysterious intermodulation distortion, and the RF engineers with me can't figure out what you're doing, now the story's changed to, well, I guess I don't see it. Gee whiz. But there's a there's different versions of these radios that'll cause it. Okay, we went from whoa 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 look at that meter ignore no, ignore that meter look at the scope oh well we can't see the whole waveform to look at that bad distortion to oh it's really not that bad to oh it's not there to oh it's because it's a different version. Wow, the story just gets better and better and better and more convenient. So there you have it, people. Someone who purports to be honest and straightforward and doesn't lie. Caught lying. So, this is CB Kid. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. And don't send anything to Mark Sherman, especially your 17 year old daughters. See ya.